overflows. What is unawareness? Unawareness is to be in the mind and with its attribute. Unawareness is to live with and identify with egocentric identities. Unawareness is to be identified with the mind, intellect, egocentric identities, a storehouse of the memory. To think that I am the mind is unawareness. To know that mind is the only mechanism just as body is, to know mind is separate is awareness. The night comes, the morning comes, but you do not get identified with night or day. You do not say, I am the night. Also, you do not say, I am the morning. The night comes, the morning comes, and the day comes. Again, night comes, and the wheel goes on moving perpetually. But you remain alert that you are none of these. The same is the case with the mind. Anger comes, but you forget. And in that forgetfulness, you become identified with anger. Greed comes, again you forget, and you become greed. Hate comes, again you forget, and you become hate. This is unawareness to get identified with all that comes. All that comes to the mind to get identified with it is unawareness. When I speak on dharma and karma, then I will go into somewhat more details. Awareness is watching the mind, watching that mind is full of greed, anger, hate, full of lust and it lives through egocentric identities but you are simply a watcher, a witness to all this, all that is happening to the mind. Then you can see greed arising and becoming a great dark cloud and then dispersing and then you remain but all along you remain untouched unaffected by the greed how long can it remain anger is momentary when anger is coming it is now or never that is why Gurjeev's father told him I when he was dying that I do not have anything to give it to you, but the experience of my life is condensed in one sentence. When anger is coming to you, postpone it for 24 hours. Gurjev's father told him to postpone it for 24 hours for a specific reason. But anger cannot remain intact even for five minutes. If you do not use the exuberance in that particular moment, you can never get, you can never repeat it again. How long can it remain? Your anger is momentary, your greed is momentary, your lust too is momentary. Just watch a little and you will be surprised it comes and goes. You are remaining there unaffected, cool and calm. I have heard once a great king asked a Sufi mystic to give him something in writing, a sutra, a small maxim which could help him in every possible situation, good, bad, which would help him in success, in failure, 
in life and in death. The Sufi gave his ring and told him, there is a message. Whenever you are really in need, in a real emergency, when you cannot when you do not seem to find any way out, only then open the ring, lift the diamond, and inside you will find the message. This is not to be done out of curiosity. Only when there is real danger that you cannot face on your own and you need me, you can see the message. Many times the king became curious what is in there, but he resisted his temptation. He had given his promise to the master. He was a man of great word. This is character. This is dharma. Dharma means that which you adopt, which you wear. Dharyati iti dharma. That which we adopt, that we put on, that we continue, is dharma. After ten years he was attacked and defeated. He ran away into the forest, into the mountains, an enemy was always following him. He could hear the horses coming closer and closer. It was as if death was coming closer. They would kill him. But he was going as fast as he could on his horse. Tired he was, tired was the horse, wounded he was, and also wounded was his horse. And then suddenly he came to a cul-de-sac, the point of beyond which there was nothing. The way ended, and there was an abyss. But there was no possibility of turning back because the enemy was closing up, closing in at the very moment, at every moment coming closer. He could not take the jump into the abyss because that was sure death. Except for waiting, there was nothing to do. Suddenly, he remembered the ring. He opened the ring, removed the lifted diamond. Inside there was a piece of paper. On that paper, just a simple sentence was written. Just a simple sentence was written. What was that sentence? Imagine. No mantra, no zikr, no verse from Quran, Bhagavad Gita or any other, it was simply written a sentence, this too will pass. This too will pass. And suddenly a great calmness descended on him. This too will pass, he murmured. This too will pass. And it happened exactly like that. He was hearing those horses those noises coming closer and by and by he started hearing them going farther away. They had taken a wrong turn. He had passed a cross road. They must have moved on some other road and they continued in that way. Then he gathered his armies, fought the enemies again and won back his kingdom. He was received with great joy, garlanded, flowers showered, the whole capital decorated for his welcome. Suddenly he felt great ego arising in him. Again he remembered the message, this too will pass. No circumstance and situation remains the same. This to pass. You can make this your watchword, your mantra. Whenever you are in that situation, like cul-de-sac, no op option available. And the moment 
the ego was taking over the king again he remembered the message this too will pass and the ego disappeared and all those garlands and all those welcome became just like a child's play in failure it helped in success it helped that became his meditation and mantra as well so whatsoever would come he would simply repeat deep down not verbally but the feeling would be there in his heart permanently this too will pass if you can remember it then whatsoever comes into your mind you remain simply a witness to it this too will pass that witnessing is awareness but we are identified we become greed we become anger and we become lust whatsoever comes in front of our consciousness we get identified with that this is foolishness as when it happens to every to very small children have you tried it just put a mirror before a small a small child he will look into the mirror very surprised with his eyes wide open he will look who is this fellow he will try to catch hold but he cannot catch hold of the person and then the child is intelligent he will try to go at the back of the mirror maybe the child is hiding behind the mirror he is not yet aware that it is only a mirror and there is no reality mind is your mirror it reflects the crowd of the world mind is the mirror that reflects the clouds of the ma of the world it reflects all that happens around in the world somebody insults there is anger it is a reflection somebody beautiful passes again it is a reflection as lust and you immediately become identified with it keep a little distance and then slowly and slowly you will find that the distance goes on growing as happened in case of the king one day the mind is so far away that it does not affect you at all this is coming home this is buddhahood and buddha calls it as dhamo sanantano indeed this is inexhaustible law of life if you can witness you will be able to pass through great transformation and you will know what real life is you go on doing things unaware of what you are doing you go on asking for things unaware what you are asking for all your desires if all your desires are fulfilled you will be the most miserable man in the world it is good they are not fulfilled the really religious person never asks anything from god he says let thy will be done thy kingdom come because what can i ask out of my unawareness whatsoever i ask is going to be wrong he asks only one thing let thy will come let thy will pass be meditative be prayerful remember those two sutras this too will pass and this will help you to meditate and the second sutra let thy will be done will help you to be prayerful will help you to be meditative and when meditation and prayer meet you are at the highest peak of consciousness possible remember first this too will pass and let thy will be done these two will help you to be prayerful to be meditative and when prayer and meditation meet you are at the highest peak of consciousness possible enough for now